can't be sad if you curbed your Aww. Tesla wheels. You're not alone, especially with the Tesla rims. They make it super flush with the tire so that it's better for aerodynamics. However, if you even graze a curb, it's gonna leave a mark. So in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you Yay. a quick and easy and cheap way on how to repair this to see if we can hide this exposed metal and make it look better. I got this wheel scratch kit from Amazon. It was only like 20 bucks. So I'm gonna see how well it works and if it's an easy and quick way to repair the black rims, especially the inductions, because it's a similar color. This is a gloss black. The inductions is kind of like a matte black, but they also have matte black as well as various paint options on Amazon. So check that out. It's supposed to be a one, two, three, easy step. Only takes you like 15 minutes. You don't have to take the wheel off. You just have to put some tape on here, you sand it down, and then you paint over it, and then that's pretty much it. So it's very simple to do. But this is my first time trying it, so I'm gonna see how simple it really is. I'm not sponsored by these people, by the way. I just got it because it was cheap, and I wanted a quick and easy way to repair it. So it comes with a sanding bar. I don't know what how many grits this is, but it'll definitely sand your nails down real good. Comes with some tape an instruction manual, as well as a cleaning pad, and you have the black paint pen. So always try to start with clean rims, wash your car or wash this wheel real quick. They already come with a cleaning pad, so you don't really have to do this part. But just to be safe, I have my Gion Q2 prep, which is pretty much just alcohol. I'm just gonna spray it a little bit, just in the areas that I'm working with. So there's no debris, there's no grease or oil because you are painting over it. And you can just see, man, this is just ruined it. The worst feeling ever. Oh, man, that was bad. I guess you apply it on the tire as well because it can scratch the tire. I didn't know that. So I'm gonna go ahead, clean that well. Make sure you clean like the grooves here. Let's go ahead and use this cleaning pad. I'm gonna clean it again. After we clean it, we're gonna go ahead and sand it down. Then we're gonna use the alcohol pad that we already used to clean it one more time. So let's go ahead, apply the tape. So we're gonna apply it below. I don't wanna damage my current rims. We're gonna apply it right below here. We're gonna try to apply it top here too. Doesn't have to be perfect because it's okay if this part gets scratched, if it does. Take your time with this part. Don't rush, but I'm trying to put it right up against the curb brush. So we're gonna apply it. Right there. Now I'm gonna apply it to the top part here. Pretty much just want to protect as much as possible. Okay, so now we're going to use this sanding block to sand. This is okay, but certain areas, which is really bumpy, we're just going to sand it a little bit and see how it goes. The tape is not sticking well. Wow, this sanding works amazing. So we're just going slow. The key is you want it to be baby smooth. Be very careful because this can damage your rims even more if you're not careful. You can see how smooth this got. Like this part, the metal actually got all the way onto here. I'm not sure how I can repair that. I am sanding it down though, the, the uh, metal piece that stuck out right here. I don't know if you can see that. I'm doing the best I can. It's smoother now for sure, but this piece is still just stuck there. Oh, let me go ahead and wipe it one more time with the alcohol. There you go. So I wiped it with the alcohol. Get rid of any excess paint. All right, so now, I mean, two steps done. Now we're on our last step. Now we got our paint pen here. It's just like this one, it has like a little tip here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go, I guess, doesn't really matter which way I go, huh? I'll go with the line of the damage, I'll go down. They said you could use this pointy tip to cover like the areas where it's really small and thin, but let's try it. So one light coat always first. So I am just, Swiping down in one motion with one coat. Don't be afraid to constantly shake the pen. Oh, so wow, so you can actually push on this tip if you wanted to for easy repairs, because I just jacked my finger up right there. All right, so same thing. Don't want it to drip. If you guys know how to paint, this will be perfect for you guys. Nice light layer. We're going straight down. Don't worry if you don't get it the first time. That's what I always learned. The key is you just want a nice light layer just so you can cover it slightly, just to kind of like prep it. They say it's super fast, but it's not that fast because you have to, if you do it correctly, you have to do tons of light coats and let it dry. 
It looks like this part already dried, so we could go ahead and start applying our second coat. Make sure you just keep shaking the pen. Be careful because this tip, paint comes out of here, so you don't want to be shaking it like crazy and pushing on here because it's possible the paint will just fly everywhere. So I don't know why they did that. It's leaking already, so just be very careful. Now we're going to apply a second coat. Okay. I think I went a little too heavy on some parts there, my bad. So with this type of stuff, you don't wanna rush it, any paint job. Take your time, take it slow, use light coats, which is what I'm doing. But yeah, let this dry, keep doing multiple coats. I just did the second coat, so we're gonna do another coat after that because I could still see the metal and it's still exposed there. What I recommend also is make it very uniform, as in don't do like a patch here and then do a patch there. If it's similar, as in the curb brush is close together and there's a tiny bit of gap, just sand it all down so that you have a uniform paint job in that whole section so it looks a little bit better. All right, so let's go ahead. We're gonna do one more layer. This is my technique. Keep it upright. Again, my wheels are kind of like a gloss black. However, they didn't really have gloss black. So I used satin black, which is what I have. And so far it looks really good. You can't even really tell the difference. Reminds me of my Plasti Dip days. As you can see, it doesn't look too bad overall. It's drying nicely. This is my third coat. Does match pretty well with my replica wheels, which is more of a gloss black, even though this is kind of like a semi-gloss. But overall, it looks so much better than before. I don't see that bare metal anymore. Okay, so honestly, three coats is looking good. There is some exposed metal slightly, just a touch. I'm gonna do one more coat. So I'm gonna do four coats total. They want you to make sure you let it dry completely before you remove the masking tape. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Usually they said one to three hours. I'm gonna probably wait like two hours because it's not that cold over here. 20 bucks, man, that's all it took. Yeah, so my applicator brush is just breaking. It's perfect for one use. Luckily they give you one extra one. And I'm gonna toss this after because it's done. But I am done. I think I used like maybe half. Okay, so it's been about two hours. I let it sit. Let's go and remove the tape and see how the damage is repaired by myself. Okay, so now I'm just gonna get this towel here, rub off the excessive buildup of paint. So this is the problem I had right here. Like this little piece, it just didn't wanna come off. Minus this part right here that I'm jacked up with my fingernail. Overall, it looks really good. I mean, you can def it's like a cheap paint job. You could definitely tell this is like the original black paint and on top is here is where I repaired it. But from far away, you can't really tell and it kind of looks pretty good. I mean, it's not the best. So there you have it. Overall for 20 bucks, it's not bad. But with the black paint, it was able to cover a lot of the damage so it's not metal. I did mess up here a little bit, probably because I didn't sand it as well because it was such a big clump. So make sure when you're sanding it, you sand it perfectly. Check out my Magbag rim case video if you have the Tesla Uber turbine or induction wheels, as you can just literally just cover this all up and it's super easy. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.